Hey curl friends and welcome back. So today's video is going to be my review for the It's a Wig, Teresa wig, which you guys have been dying to know the tea on. So before we get into the actual review, I wanna give a big shout out to Elevate Styles for sending over this wig. They did sponsor this video, so I hope you guys enjoy this wig and enjoy my review. So as you guys can tell already, I did zhuzh it up a little bit. I did cut the wig. I wasn't really feeling it too much straight out of the box, but if you would like to see Exactly what it looks like straight out of the box. I do have an unboxing and styling video which you guys can check out. I'll have it linked above. Just click the I and I'll get into exactly what I did with the wig first and then the unboxing. So I ended up just cutting off the entire back portion of this wig. It had some face framing layers just towards the front but the back was just like a long clump of hair and it just wasn't really fitting my face too much. So I did go back in and cut the hair. I cut off all of the back, nothing too fancy and just did a few layers to towards the top and the middle of the hair to give it more body and volume and zhuzh. I do have a video on how I cut my wigs that look like this that are like these wavy or curly textures. So if you wanna see exactly how I cut it, I'll have a video linked above as well as to how I cut this wig. I have done a tutorial on this before. It's not this exact same wig, but it's the same exact technique. So getting into the unboxing, like I said, this is the It's a Wig Swiss Lace Front Wig named Teresa. She has a four by four lace, Swiss lace part in the front. The 4x4 Swiss lace parting is very similar to a virgin or human hair free part closure. You can pretty much part it anywhere you want to. It's multi-directional and it has a very flesh tone look to it. Teresa features three combs, two in the front as well as one in the nape. And as always, two bra straps towards the back right adjacent to the nape comb. The texture for this wig is listed on the site as a curly texture, but I would more so say it's like a loose wave, um, really, really loose flowing curls kind of on the wavy side. The hair is super super soft. This is synthetic hair but it is extremely soft. It feels just like that beauty supply store like human quality kind of hair. As far as colors, Teresa is available in nine different colors, four solids, and five special colors. And I got mine in a color TT30 which is pretty much a dark root and honey blonde ends. So unboxing this wig, it comes in a nice little plastic packaging just like any other synthetic wig. You'll find a hang tag that features all of the care instructions. They do say that this hair can take heat up to 400 degrees between 350 and 400 degrees but I personally wouldn't recommend it because it is synthetic hair. But you'll find all of your care instructions, everything that you need on the back of the tag and you'll find your wig stuffed with some stuffing just to keep the mold and the shape of the wig as well as some barrier over the lace to keep it protected. And like I said I ended up cutting this wig so you guys are seeing like a shoulder length somewhat cut but this hair was super super long. Um, It's really really long hair. I am 5'5", five five, so that could also play a difference in what it, what length or where it will reach you on your particular figure. But this is really, really long hair straight out of the box. And like I said, it has some face frame and layers towards the front and then just like a really strong, long layer in the back. As far as styling goes, I didn't really do much to this wig. It was pretty much a take out of the box and go kind of wig. I just took it straight out, put it on a mannequin and plucked the middle part. I wanted to widen out the part a bit. This particular wig had a really, really skinny part. It wasn't too realistic so I did plug out the part and as you guys can see it looks a tad bit more realistic. Um, this wig does come with a middle part to begin with and like I said you can just switch it over however you like. Um, for what I have right now I have the wig placed in the middle of my head and I just pretty much parted this side part to create the side part. Like I said you can do pretty much whatever you want to to it or even shift your entire wig if you need to. After I plucked out the parting I went ahead and fluffed out the roots. I pretty much just go in to the roots and lift and lift and lift just to get as much volume as possible. These are really, really stringy and small curls straight out of the box. So I just wanted more height and volume to it. So you can just, like I said, go in through the roots to avoid adding any kind of frizz towards the ends. Now, once I cut the hair, it was a whole different story. <laughs> I ended up going in with the roots and then I went back in with the ends. Just kind of, I wanted like that messy look. So I just went back in and just played with it a little bit just to get it more full and just a little bit more frizzy and playful. So now that we've got our unboxing and styling covered, let's get into my pros and my cons. Let me tell you guys, I am loving this wig so far. I didn't really like it at first when I got it. I was like, I don't really know why I got this wig, why I got it so long. 
I wasn't really feeling it, honestly. A lot of you guys enjoyed the wig and you guys wanted to see me cut it. I've seen a few of you guys in the comments talking about that I needed to shape it towards my face to make it look more realistic. I did end up doing it, as you guys can see. Whenever I do the styling and unboxing videos, those videos are supposed to mimic exactly what it looks like straight out of the box. And then when I do these reviews, I usually end up switching up the hair for the review anyway. But like I said, I wasn't really feeling it at first, but I absolutely love it now. I love it cut, I love it short. I didn't like it long at all. And I could totally see it matting and tangling with it being so long. So if you do get the wig and you end up getting tired of it or ends up getting matted or tangled, I highly recommend cutting it because it looks really, really good cut and it takes very well to the scissors. The hair is super lightweight and realistic. The parting is amazing. These Swiss lace closures are just everything. There's no need when you get these kind of wigs to be worried about it looking super fake or unrealistic. These Swiss lace closures are definitely worth the extra penny. I love the color. I love how it transitions from that dark black or 1B2 color down to a slight little brown all the way down to the bright honey blonde. I love how they did the color for this hair. It looks really, really great. And the hair is super bouncy and lightweight. As far as cons for the hair, like I said, if you keep it long, I could totally see it matting and tangling just because of that extra length in the back. Obviously, I did not like the cut of the wig. I didn't like how they ended up framing the face and leaving that long layer in the back. I really wasn't feeling that. And just a small little complaint, I don't like the fact that the back of the hair is like completely blonde. There's no dark root like the front, but it's not a make or break or anything like that. The wig is super cheap and affordable, so it's not too much of a big deal. You could always DIY some dark roots towards the back if that's what you like. But I feel like they could have kind of keep it a little bit consistent with the dark roots in the front, but it's not a really, really big deal. But other than that, I absolutely love the wig. I I love how it looks on me. I love the color. And now I'm feeling my new cut. So those are my thoughts on the wig. I know you guys really want to know how much this wig actually costs. This wig is super cheap and affordable. The retail price for this wig is about $53.99, but you can get it right now on Elevate Styles with a low low for only $37.79. This wig is less than 40 bucks. And like I said, you get two styles in one. You can keep it long or you can end up cutting it like I did. I personally feel like this is a great wig. I love how it looks. Like I said, I love the cut. I love how bouncy and voluminous the hair is for synthetic hair. And I'm just pretty much loving this. I hope you guys enjoyed this affordable wig review. Let me know in the comments below. Did you like the hair long on me? Do you like it short now that I've cut it? Let me know also what color would you end up getting in this wig? Unfortunately, this hair is only available in the standard colors and some reds and some browns. Nothing too exotic or crazy, but it's definitely a steal. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.